one Aircraft Instrument System. Let's embark on a journey into the heart of aircraft instrument systems, an integral aspect of aviation evolution since the days of the Wright brothers. Aircraft Instrument Systems Picture the humble Wright flyer adorned with just a handful of instruments, an engine tachometer, an anemometer, and a stopwatch. While primitive, these instruments marked the inception of a profound idea, providing pilots with crucial information for safer flights. Fast forward through the corridors of time and witness the remarkable transformation of instrument panels. From the rudimentary setup of the Wright Flyer to the sleek sophistication of a modern jet airliner, instrument systems have evolved in tandem with the complexities of aviation. Now let's dissect the multifaceted realm of instruments, extending far beyond the mere monitoring of engines. Modern instrument systems offer a symphony of information, aircraft condition, engine health, component status, skyward attitude, weather insights, cabin environment, navigation, and communication updates. The challenge, as aviation progressed, became presenting this wealth of information in a manner that informs without overwhelming. The transition from individual instruments attached to a flat panel to today's computer-controlled digital interface with prioritized messaging epitomizes this evolution. A glance at a conventional cockpit versus a glass cockpit makes the transformation vivid. In understanding instrument systems, we encounter a fundamental duality, sensing and displaying. Analog instruments often unite these functions within a single unit, known as direct sensing instruments. Conversely, remote sensing instruments capture information at one point and relay it to a separate display unit. This applies to both analog and digital instruments. The relay of critical information can occur through various mediums, from electrical wiring to pneumatic lines. However, modern aircraft ushered in a revolution with digital data buses, smart wires digitally encoding signals for multiple instruments, streamlining information transfer. The conventional clutter of gauges has given way to lightweight flat panel computer displays, offering not just reduced weight but also enhanced reliability. For the aviation technician, this realm of instrument systems demands comprehension and adept maintenance. Our exploration kicks off with analog instruments, seamlessly transitioning to modern digital counterparts when the narrative beckons. Classifying instruments. Let's move towards the world of aircraft instruments. We're going to keep it simple and break it down into three main groups. Flight instruments, engine instruments, and navigation instruments. And hey, don't forget those other gauges and indicators hanging around especially in the big, complex aircraft. They're like the supporting cast in our aviation drama, monitoring things like flight control position, cabin environment, electrical power, and more. Flight instruments. Now imagine you're up there in the cockpit. Flight instruments are like your personal guides through the skies. Take the altimeter, for example. It tells you how high or low you are. Then there's the airspeed indicator, keeping you in sync with the wind, and the magnetic direction indicator, your trusty compass. These instruments have been around for a while, but they've evolved, finding their sweet spots on the instrument panel in that classic T-shape. And in modern glass cockpits, the artificial horizon steals the show. We're talking a mix of old-school pneumatic and new-school electric magic here. Engine instruments. Time to shift our focus to the powerhouse, the engine instruments. These bad boys measure everything about the engine, from how much fuel it's got to the pressure, temperature, and speed. Picture a dashboard with gauges showing fuel and oil levels, tachometers, and temperature readings. In multi-engine planes, they keep it neat with one gauge showing info for all engines. It's all about keeping that heart of the aircraft ticking smoothly. Navigation instruments. Now, as you soar through the vast sky, navigation instruments come into play. These are like your GPS for the air. Forget the old-school compass. We've got radio signals and GPS systems doing the heavy lifting now. Clocks and magnetic compasses aren't forgotten, but technology has given them a serious upgrade. Principles of operation. All right, to wrap it up, let's talk about how these instruments do their thing. Some use old-school mechanical methods, some play with magnetism and electricity, and there's even some gyroscopic action. And hey, we can't forget the high-tech solid-state sensors. Each of these principles adds a unique flavor to the cockpit display, creating a symphony of information for the pilot. Pressure measuring instruments. All right, let's talk about some crucial instruments in an aircraft, pressure measuring instruments. These are the unsung heroes that keep the pilot informed about the aircraft's condition and how it's handling the various flight situations. Now these instruments fall into two main groups, the flight group and the engine group. We're going to explore three fundamental mechanisms used in these instruments. The Borden tube, the diaphragm or bellows, and the solid state sensing device. Borden tube, a coiled marvel. 
Imagine a coiled tube, the Bourdon tube. One end is fixed and the other is free to move. Now when the pressure of a fluid, yeah, we're talking about air or liquids in the aircraft, is directed into the open end, the coiled tube straightens out. The higher the pressure, the straighter the tube gets. Add a pointer attached to the moving end of the tube and you've got yourself a pressure gauge. Engine oil pressure, hydraulic pressure, oxygen tank pressure, these are measured using the Borden tube mechanism. And guess what? It can even measure temperature by tweaking the calibration. Talk about versatility. Now, Borden tubes can be the internal wizardry for many pressure gauges, making them simple and reliable. Most times, you'll find them as direct reading gauges right there in the cockpit. But on larger aircraft, they can do the job remotely. Imagine the Bordon tube's motion being converted into an electrical signal and whisked away to the cockpit display. Lighter, more efficient, and no risk of fluids leaking into the passenger compartment. Win-win! Diaphragm and bellows, thin walls with power. Next up, we've got the diaphragm and bellows. The diaphragm is like a thin, corrugated metal disc. When pressure hits one side, the whole disc expands, and by cleverly linking this movement, we get a pointer on the instrument face. Now diaphragms can be sealed or they can be evacuated, earning the cool name aneroid. And if you connect a bunch of diaphragms, you get a bellows, perfect for measuring differential pressure between two gases. The accordion-like movement of the bellows correlates with pressure changes, and you've got another set of instruments for the pilot. These diaphragms, aneroids, and bellows are often the hidden gems inside instruments, making them direct reading gauges or playing their part in remote sensing systems. Imagine the diaphragm or bellows doing their magic on the engine or airframe and the information being sent to the cockpit for display. Solid-state sensors, microtech marvels. Now let's fast forward to the future. Solid-state microtechnology pressure sensors. These little wonders are like the tech wizards of the aircraft world. They use crystals, piezoelectric materials, piece or assistors, and semiconductor chips to sense pressure changes. When pressure does its thing, these sensors produce electrical outputs or resistance changes. These sensors are modern marvels, providing digital outputs ready for our electronic flight instrument computers and other onboard computers. They are remote sensing systems, mounted strategically on the aircraft to capture critical pressure information. In combination with temperature sensors, these solid-state sensors cover nearly all the pressure needs for engines, airframes, and flight instruments. We're talking high-tech efficiency here. So, there you have it, the fascinating world of pressure-measuring instruments in aircraft. From the coiled elegance of the Bourdon tube to the thin walls with power in diaphragms and bellows, and finally, the microtech marvels of solid-state sensors. These instruments are the silent heroes ensuring safe and informed flights. If you click like and subscribe and leave a comment, we will provide a coupon for a free PDF download of the book titled Airframe Test Preparation or one of other ebooks. However, each individual can only download up to one out of nine ebooks for free.